for this show, I was sort of working on all paintings simultaneously. Like I'll, I'll start one painting and then the next day I make, I'm starting another painting in response to this painting. So for instance, if I make this soldier painting, I'm starting this painting and then two days later I have to start another painting because it's too wet to continue, it's, so it's a long process. So I'll, I'll, I'll work on another painting and usually the next painting is sort of a response or a, a partner or like a, just creating some kind of like dynamic between the other paintings. There's no like specific theory or research on this show. There's lots of different ideas that sort of combine, co congeal together to create this sort of micro universe of mine, I guess you could say. I think it's important to also have a visual vocabulary, which is mine, which is what maybe seduces viewers. The burst, the globe, the tree, the globe face, and have all these things interconnect and it create this sort of loose-ended, free associative narrative and see how different people interpret it with their own subconscious. Like, you know, to some people come here and it's, it's utopian or to other people it's dystopian or it's, or it's some, to some people they have no reaction or it's other people. So I'm just interested in whatever it triggers. These elements I put together, what does it trigger for anyone else without language, just purely through vision. For me, it's liberating to be, to be able to bounce back and forth from like representational and abstract sort of visual sensibilities in a sense that for me, going into a more abstract, less, less narrative pictorial realm is sort of like more of a, like a, a, like a exploration of my subconscious or intuition versus like the much more rationale of like representation and like I'm now painting this image and the logic of painting the image. I think of myself sort of as like a, a cultural sieve. You know what a sieve is? Like a, a cultural filter. I'm just processing whether it's news, media, subconscious, what I see, traveling, internet. It's just I'm thinking of myself just processing culture, events, anything, and I just, how do I transmit what I experience as a human being in the 21st century? I feel connected to anything from cave paintings to Roman statues to Renaissance painting to Andy Warhol to Manet to Velasquez. It's all, it's all, it's all in there somewhere. So for me, art history in some ways was was not just about looking about at art, but it was really also understanding like the social historical context of whatever was happening at the moment. So for me, our history was more of like, yeah, a window into history and politics and sociology. What I value is good art. I think for me, it's like, it can't be purely aesthetics and it can't be purely ideas. Cause like purely ideas, you go into a show and it's ideas and there's no visual aesthetic punch. So it becomes so much about language and idea. And idea. And then if it's strictly visual, then it becomes just decorative. So for me, it has to have these two things merging to create something visually stunning or compelling.